Death, I'm going to use you once. Just for like one kill. Got a vulnerary. Uh, that'd be good for someone else. Alright. Perhaps Franz would also be recommended to help. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Uh, Ross? No. Probably shouldn't use you. Uh, what about you? It would be best to do... Okay, perfect. Alright, Gilm, can you do... Damn it! He has one damage point off. Come on! Uh, how am I gonna work this out? Give me a second. Um, Hope Ross gets critical. He has a 1% chance. Yeah, right. Uh, Moldor. Go back and heal. I think Seth will be alright, except I don't want him to get the kill. If he does, I guess I won't be too butt hurt, but I mean, come on, that would be a great experience for someone else. Okay, that'd be alright. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, you know what? That'd be good. There you go. And then I'll have Gilliam take care of the archer. There we go. Alright, that works out. And then Ross can take care of this guy. Just please don't miss, Ross. You have awesome luck. Thank you! That's a level up. Level 2 Journeyman. Uh, HP and luck. That was not the best level up. Hopefully Ross does not have too many more like those. That won't be good. No bueno. Get out of here. Uh, I'm sure Gilliam will be fine. I mean, there's two brigands. That's not terrible. Bone will go directly for probably... Oh, he's gonna go for Seth, isn't he? Great! Well, that sucks. Unless, wait, 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 can I maybe do something? Aha! I got it! Excuse me for a second, Seth. Thank you. <laughs> Suckers. Oh god, I just hope the bandit doesn't move before Bone, because that would suck. Please don't move before Bone. Okay, thank He went after Gilliam anyway. What an idiot. Alright, go after the guy who has the weapon. As opposed to the guy who doesn't have a weapon. Wait a minute. Who, who are you? Ow. I did three damage. <sighs> Great. Alright, so he can pretty much maneuver around and attack anyone he feels like at this point. Ross, please tell me you can do seven damage to the... God damn it, Ross. Uh, actually, it probably would be best to deal that damage. Alright, let's do that. Wham! I got it. And then we'll leave the archer completely alone, because all he can do is range attacks. And that'll leave Vanessa enough time to grab the village. Perfect! Everything's coming up great. Boom! Ross should be able to survive a archer hit if he was actually targeted. However, I don't even think he'll be targeted. Okay, so you can go for Gilliam. Wait, what's your speed like? Five. Okay, that shouldn't be too much, and Gilliam shouldn't be double hit. Tax 14, defense, so that'd be 8, 6. He'll do 6 damage if it hit twice. Okay, you know what? Gilliam would be fine. Uh, that shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. Yeah, uh, Erica can move right here, and perfect! Except I really hope that Archer. Ooh, that might have been a bad move. Eh, you know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, just do what you want. Okay, he's just sitting there perching and taking pot shots at Gilliam. That's no problem. Ow. Please don't tell me you can double hit. Alright, good. Gilliam, please tell me you can get some speed. Ah, well, he got some strength. I guess I'm alright with that. Uh, Ross, you can start working on the archer. Perfect! Everything came up brilliant. Alright, I don't even care about that conversation. He just talks about how pure water helps or something like that. I don't know. But, well, Seth, you can move your ass over here. And that is the end of you, Bone. Damn it. There you go. Ugh, blast. There you go, Erica has defeated Bone, and Ross, you get to take care of the Archer.
Wham! Uh, oh yeah, we should probably buy some weapons, too. I really wish there was a slim axe, but there isn't. So, instead, I'll just take a slim sword. No, I don't want another one. Uh, slim lance might be preferable soon. You know, I'll buy one. Sent to storage. Uh, let's buy an iron sword. And an iron axe. Alright. I don't have anything to sell. Uh, that's Seth who has the thing to sell, right? Alright. Should I heal Erica? In fact, how much damage can you do? 10? Eh, you know what? I'll heal her anyway. It's good experience, even though I don't even want to use Moldor, but whatever. Moldor's not terrible. I know I was making fun of him, but really, he's not that bad at all. In fact, I don't know. In some ways, he's actually pretty good. He's just sitting there, pot shotting everyone. What an ass. Oh well. Well, this ends it. Go, Ross. Yeah! Oh, wait. No, that doesn't end it, actually. And the microwave. Journeyman! Oh my god, he got resistance. Holy shit. That's rare. I just want strength! God damn it, I'm getting some stupid level ups this time around. Iron bow, you missed, and... Oh my god, you're one way of love. Alright, are you gonna heal up to five? Okay, you did. Okay, good. Don't critical. God damn it, Ross, you missed! That's going to happen a lot. He doesn't have the best of skill as of late. I mean, look at his hit percent. Well, actually, his hit's not that bad. He does have the hatchet, which is a range attack, which is pretty good, actually. It just doesn't have any power whatsoever. Alright, there's a level up for Erica. Alright, yeah, there you go, there's the great level up, and for funny factor, I didn't even get speed. Huh? Your resistance is five, holy shit, that is really weird. I don't ever remember you getting that much resistance. Give me that red gem, I'm gonna go trade that in. Uh, let's trade here, red gem, take some sword. Alright, I'll trade that next turn. I really want to give Ross the goddamn kill, but he keeps missing. Oh boy. Can you do like more than his eight? Yeah, you can definitely do more than his HP and damage. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't move off the fortress and attacks Moldor. I guess he just really wants to heal. I don't know. Plus it gives him good like, range defense, I guess, I don't know. There you go, Ross. Get up your good skill. Holy shit, that gave a lot of experience. I'll eventually take down his health. Perhaps the speed up should be uh, put into place. Except I can't speed up, can I? Uh, oh well. Uh, let's do that again. No. Actually, wait a minute. I have an idea. Franz, you don't have that steel. Oh wait, no, 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 you do. Supply. Alright, here's how the supply works. Yeah, I forgot to mention this. You may notice there's no Merlinus or any carrier guy. Basically, Erica is the carrier guy. She always has the supply on her. At ready. So there you go. There's the Iron Axe. Boom. There you go, buddy. Make use of it. Hey, yo! Damn it. He looks so badass when he just swings that axe. It's just so cool. I love Ross. Ross is definitely my favorite unit in this game. No lie. I mean, it's not just because of his name, of course. He really is just a really good unit. He becomes my favorite unit. He literally just destroys everything. It's just he needs a little uh, help in the beginning of the game. A lot of help in the beginning of the game. Oh boy, Ross. It's going to be a while before you're criticaling like a madman, but we'll get into that later. Please tell me you move now. Oh my god, he moved. Holy shit, perfect! That means he's off his goddamn fortress, you asshole. There we go. Stop hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Iron Axe! And one more hit should do it. And this is the final. This chapter took for fuck. Oh, come on! 
damn it, he went out in the forest. Well, it doesn't have as much avoid as, you know, the fortress. Actually, I think it has the same amount of avoid. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. God damn it. Just kill him already, Ross. Get out of here. All right, that's the end of him. Ross is now level four. Awesome, that was a good level up. I like levels up like that. And there you go. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Reneas, didn't you? Sith, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Reneas until about ten years ago. When I was recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Reneas. Master Garcia, you must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Reneas once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago, Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left, my, I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. My wife fell ill and died. I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies. I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I've no regrets. I'm the boy's father. You, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross? If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please, listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, just like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of I'd. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. Sir Seth, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad. Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best I could, but he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad. Thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we can't and we won't. But we have to do much and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, uh, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you. My father gave it to me. A wonderful gift, but you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Renaissance has invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. The most wicked are Bosba's bandits. They are cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travels, and oh, it was awful. I, I can't believe such things. Oh, Reneas is finished, mark my words. The Grotto Empire stolen our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephron would prevail, but... Where has it? He's on the verge of being crushed by Grotto's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with care. Ephron.
Oops, beg your pardon. Hey! Princess, are you alright? Yeah, someone bumped into me as all. I was jarred. Hmm? Your Highness, where's your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone. Where could it be? Did that man... I'll find him. Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father. Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get into the way of my duty. No, Princess, we must retrieve your bracelet at all costs, regardless. You can't lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. Well, that's the end of Chapter 2. Next time on Boss Russell P's Sacred Stones, I guess, Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, we're going to do Chapter 3. See you guys for that next time. Chapter 3, The Bandits of Borgo. Bye.